In this series of shorts, we follow 15 ordinary people on an extraordinary journey through Africa. In the ultimate test this summer, our participants fish in the Atlantic Ocean, sleep rough in the desert, fetch their own water, and confront the harsh truths about their home country's history in this continent. As the world marks Ramadan, we're putting the spotlight on giving. The team members are keen to share gifts with their Senegalese hosts and have brought a range of presents to give away. Although many of them are regular supporters of the charity Human Appeal, this is a chance for them to give away their presents by hand and to really feel the essence of sharing. <laughs> Indeed, there are various hadith about the importance of giving, and in one narrated by Ibn Abbas. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the most generous of all the people. And he used to become more generous in Ramadan when the angel Gabriel met him. Gabriel used to meet him every night during Ramadan to revise the Quran with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, then used to be more generous than the fast wind. Naim takes this chance to remind the team about a certain joy attached to giving charitable gifts. Giving is an important part of our deen. It's an important part of humanity. Um, and sometimes it, it's a toy, it's a piece of clothing. It can be a time, it can be a smile. We are here to give. That's what we're here for. That's what our life should be about is giving. Yes, we take sometimes because we are selfish by nature. But our end goal we should be to give. If we give, we will receive. Ramadan is a time of community, and here in the heart of the community in Kosi, Shazia is distributing some of the gifts she's brought along. So as soon as we got told that we were, um, we had the, the airline very kindly had given us a double baggage allowance. Uh, I told a few of my friends and family, and um, within within a few hours it was like, right, I'm coming round. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. And uh, and then I soon worked out. It was the night before we left and I had all of the things kind of sprawl out on the floor. And I soon worked out that both of my 23 kilo suitcases are going to have to go for gifts. And all of my clothes for the entire week are going to have to go in my seven kilo hand luggage. It was such a nice feeling to, to give. Because I think sometimes when people donate to charity, they miss the end part of it. So you have the nice feeling of giving, but you don't get the nice feeling of knowing that it's got to the right recipient in the right hands. And I think people, my cousins and my, fam my family, my friends, did what they did because they knew that there was going to be someone at the other end kind of giving that out and actually experiencing on some level what it's like to see the smile on the kids' faces. Anissa has come to paint with orphans at a school run by Human Appeal. As a teacher in London, she spends a great deal of time with children and today she's sharing some unique gifts. I teach 24 beautiful, beautiful children and um, they all drew some drawings for the kids um, for, uh, for the orphans and because they just wanted to brighten up their lives and so we had some really cute messages like um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, give you everything that you want keep on smiling don't worry Allah is with you I really liked it because um, my class obviously is, is like a younger generation and I just think it's so nice that I'm making the con like that there's a connection now between them and the younger generation in Senegal, so that both of them are like connected and they both have a bit of each other. I, I don't know, it just, yeah, I find it very emotional because, yeah. Tomorrow on Selfies in Africa, we visit a startup diner and an ice cream factory set up at home. Will Shazi and the team be impressed by the entrepreneurship shown by Senegal's businesswomen? Thank you.